Alrighty, good morning guys. Uh, welcome back to another video today. Today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. We're gonna be throwing around a bunch of these lures today. I already checked inside the box because I'm uh, a bit curious when the box gets to my house. Um, I got a saltwater popper in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw that around. Hopefully we're gonna get some sick topwater eats today. We're gonna go for tarpon, redfish, trout, who knows, freaking, we might get a snook. You never know when you're throwing around lures around here. You can really catch about anything. So we're gonna back the boat in the water right now and uh, head over to the spot. It's, uh, sun's not quite up, which is what I was hoping for um, to get out here this early, throw some top water, and uh, let's go, guys. Alrighty guys, so we just pulled up to the spot now. Um, I'm gonna try to do this really quick, but Mystery Tackle Box, thank you guys for sponsoring. So if you guys don't know what this is, it is a Mystery Tackle Box. You can uh, you can sign up and you can get this box at your front door every month. And uh, so usually you get, I don't know, maybe five to 10 lures, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and you pay one price and usually those lures add up to like twice the amount. So that's kind of like the deal. Um, so you get a bunch of lures that you've never tried before. So. A lure that I've never tried, which I'm going to be starting off with today, is this, uh, what's it called? Greek Chub Popper. Called Striper Strike. So I guess it's made for stripers, so I should be able to launch it like a freaking mile. But I'm sure trout will absolutely destroy this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get here throwing in a second. And uh, you guys can use my code, Justin, um, and there will be a link in the description, top link, if you guys want to try Mystery Tackle Box. MTB, thank you guys for sponsoring. Let's get fishing. Oh, he's on, he's on. That fish is on. There we go. Thank you. It's a trout. He popped it. And I felt like I kept working it. Like, I think he swam at me a little bit, and I was like, is he on there? And then four or five feet later. There we go. Ooh, he's got one treble hook in him. He's gonna shake it right here. Come here, buddy. Alrighty, first fish of the day right there on our uh, topwater popper. Probably, say 20, 21 inch trout right there. Um, popped it, didn't feel him for five, six feet, and then he was on there. He may have even hit it twice when it was under the surface, but really, really pretty trout. Go ahead, just lay him back in the water here, and uh, we'll, we'll try to find another one. Oh. There he goes. All right guys, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a, a paddle sail. We're gonna do some sight fishing now that the sun's up. I don't think the uh, top water bite's gonna do great for me. So I switched to this, I think I think it was called a track spates. I think it was called, it's just an artificial shrimp with some, uh, some legs there. We're gonna throw that on a jig head and we're gonna do some sight fishing. Hopefully I'll find a redfish or maybe even some black drum. That would be perfect for a bait like this. And let's, uh, let's, let's do it. It's a rig just like that. Kind of an interesting bait paddle tail but has legs so we'll test it out we'll see that's a good thing about mtb is you can try out new lures and see how the heck they uh how they do all right so while i'm uh cruising along here i just wanted to point out i think i just found like the freaking sheep's head heaven there's no not no less than like 150 sheep's head under this dock right here and all these pilings i'm gonna have to come back guys i have to make a sheep's head video soon holy crap what was that I'm just blew up under there. Got him. That was a little snook. <laughs> All right, he is unhooked. He's a little bloody, so for some reason I hooked him in a weird spot. No, nope, come back. Oh, there he goes. He'll be okay, though, I think hooked him in an odd spot where it drew blood but oh quick release i'm gonna go on to the other side of that dock see if there's a bigger snook because i heard those mullet get blasted 
Seeing all those sheep's head, there must have been like 200 sheep's head under that dock, and there was some decent sized ones. I think I can make a run, probably I'll probably do it around one o'clock or, or so, something like that. I'll make a run to the bait and tackle shop, um, grab some live shrimp, and then probably to end the day off, we'll slay out some sheep's head. So hopefully that'll happen. All right, guys, so I went ahead and threw around that little paddle tail for a little while. The last action I had was with those little reds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, MTB, thank you guys for sponsoring the video. We're going to move over to some live shrimp for the rest of the day, and uh, we're going to have some fun with, uh, with some sheep's head and hopefully some redfish and trout. So I'm going to go grab those, and uh, next frame, we'll be fishing. All right, so I just went ahead and grabbed live shrimp, but, like, listen to this. All right, I just got robbed. So, like, how much do you guys pay for live shrimp? Comment down below. All right, so I just paid... I just said I got two dozen shrimp and paid ten dollars and ten cents. That's a lot, right? They charged a dollar for credit card, and then each dozen was like four dollars and fifty cents. Crazy, right? But all right, we got like two dozen shrimp. Um, got them there. I know a lot of you guys asked about the Yeti bucket lid that I had in my last video. I'll leave like an Amazon affiliate link if you guys want to check it out and purchase it. Um, it's basically just like a mesh lid where you can put stuff in and things won't, you know, go flying out. It's really cool. Um, they sent that over. It's by a brand called Trash Can Bucket Topper. Really cool, but we're gonna get fishing here. I am, uh, now that I'm broke, I need to actually catch some fish and make a good video. Let's catch some fish. Got him. Got him that time. Got him that time. Not escaping this time. That's the redfish I missed just a minute ago. Ugh, come here, buddy. Alrighty, and there is our redfish right there. He is probably 16 inches, very, very small. But that actually completes the slam for the day. Um, hammered it. It took me a couple tries to get a fish stuck there, but we got him, boys. Just stuck a stud. That's what I'm talking about, guys. <sighs> so you guys don't know what this is, but I've been watching them race around the boat for a solid minute. Oh boy. Okay, so I tried to look up real quick. I couldn't really get my answer. I'm actually not 100% sure if this is a pompano. Um, this is probably a rookie move on my part. He is 18 inches to the fork. I don't think that's a pompano, guys. I don't, I don't. Ah! Well, I guess I gotta let him go now. Ugh. Is this a pompano, guys? It has like a bluish back. What kind of fish is that? He just took off. Dude, I tried to call my friend real quick to ask, but I don't know who else to ask. Is that a pompano? Is he just freaking huge? Pompanos have yellow in them. What the heck? What kind of fish is that? I thought it was a pompano, like guaranteed, right? When I saw them swimming around, I was like, oh, that's a pompano right there. 
but they're like blue in back. Is it a pompano? It was too blue in the back for me to call it a pompano. Pompano usually really yellow. All right guys, so you guys can roast me in the comments. I just did some research and uh, called up a couple people and turns out that was just a really big pompano. I, I don't know why it had like a bluish tone to it. Not my instinct was like, I'm not 100% sure this is a pompano. I'm gonna go ahead and release it. I know pompanos usually have yellow, um, like yellowy tones to them. So I guess we'll just get another one here and start filling up the cooler. I've only caught like five or six pompano in my life. So that's the main reason I wasn't sure, but I mainly just didn't want to put a fish in the cooler that I wasn't, wasn't positive was safe to keep. So that was sick. That was a big pompano. <laughs> and uh, let's get another one. Let's try to find them. There we go, there's another one. Yes, sir. He ate the bare jig head, shrimp came off. I think they ate the shrimp off, then he followed the jig head and ate it. Alrighty, get in here, bud. Not as big as the last one, but now we know this is definitely, definitely a pompano. So, try to get him measured here. Zero. He is about 16 to the fork. Alright, at 16. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy in the cooler, and we are going to keep catching him. In the cooler you go. I'm gonna grab some ice in a little bit here. So he should be okay until I grab ice, but let's see if we can get a couple more real quick. There's actually like five or six in a little squad right there. After I hadn't seen any for like 30 minutes. <sighs> so what I was doing, I was just using these little, uh, I think they're called yellowtail jigs. Shrimp just right through the tail like that. That's more than big enough shrimp for these pompano, but I got them. Went right to it. You get it? Got him. Nice. That was sweet. Wow, Pompano's fight hard. Holy crap. These things are awesome. Wow, I love Pompano. Man, he's so full of energy. So full of energy. Look at this. This guy's a little bit bigger than the last. Oh. So this guy is zero. Oh, he's 17 to the fork. Yep. Try to show you guys. Zero. Right on 17, just an inch short of 18. So this is the second biggest one today. And he is going in the cooler, boys. Number two, I'll probably get one more and then I'm gonna go grab ice so they're not sitting too long in the cooler without ice. Whew, this is awesome, guys. Here's a nice one right here. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Come on, eat it, eat it. Gotta keep it moving. He got it. Yep, there he is. Oh. Whew. That is what I'm talking about. Well, this one has a cut out of him. Looks like something tried to eat him. Whew. Oh my God, there's a giant right there. That's the absolute tank. I don't know if you guys could see that one. There's one that's like definitely over 20. Holy crap. Dude, they're everywhere. I'm gonna get this guy in the cooler and then we're gonna get some more. Whew. Get him on the ruler real quick. All right, on the ruler, zero and 16 to the fork. Mm. 
Number three down. Got another. Oh, oh. oh God. This is a big boy. I'm getting good. Getting good at seeing them. Getting good at casting at them. Because if you land it a little too close, they'll take off. But, you know, just the right distance, they'll kind of just chill. Look at it, swirl around it, pick it up. This is awesome, guys. This is like the most fun I've had fishing in like a long time. Oh! Just <laughs> I jinxed it. I jinxed it. He literally just pulled. Nothing broke. Must have just slid off. Ah. Uh, that was definitely like a 17 inch or two. Dude, did he just? Was that a pompano or jack? Was that a pompano or jack? Oh my, it was that pompano. Dude, I launched it, I just blind casted because I thought he spooked. And I just hear a huge wake behind me when I turn my head and start reeling and he hammered it. Oh, that was awesome, guys. I saw him take off, so I was like, oh, you must have just saw me or something. So I just wing a cast at him and hit him on the head. That was sweet. Oh! These boys can fight. Super, super underrated fish. People love catching pompano, but catching them on the flats, this is definitely different. Get in, boy. Oh! Got zero on that side. Got about 16 on that side, so... Ugh, 16 to the fork. I'm not an expert on pompano, but I think these are like really big pompano. I don't think they normally get this big. I could be wrong. Like on the beach, I thought they were normally like 14 inches a lot of times, or 12, 14 inches. The minimum's 12 or 14, I believe, but I haven't even caught any that small. <sighs> Alright. Next. Nice one right here. You got him, I got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, my God. Pompano's do in fact jump. Not like it's harping, but I don't know. Definitely different. That was sweet. Number five, we just need one more to limit. There we go. Jesus. There's the limit, boys. Oh my gosh. Ugh. That was hard work for that last fish. No joke. This is a nice one too, holy crap. Zero, let's see. Zero, 17 on the fork. Nice fish, let's go home, boys. All right, boys, so we just finished off right there. I'm about to get out of here. We got the intro slam. And we got six pompano in the cooler, so feels good, man. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe I released my PB pompano today, but it'll just go back out there to get bigger. So hit the like button. We're trying to reach 250 every single video for all of 2020. And uh, that's it. See you guys in the next video.